Hi, Quadcopter101 here at the Mojave test site with my HT F801 uh, camera headless mode quadcopter. Uh, I've removed the camera from it today because I want to do a flight without the camera, uh, evaluating its flight performance without the camera. By the way, uh, thanks goes to GearBest.com for providing this courtesy quadcopter for these reviews. Uh, what I've done today is I've removed the quadcopter as this, or removed the camera from the quadcopter. There, uh, with the intent, I intend to do future flights with my um, 808 keychain camera with this quadcopter. I think it's this might be a really good camera for the keychain camera, or really good quadcopter for the keychain camera. Uh, but to do that, you know, all I did was unplug the camera and and pushed it out of its slot. So it comes right off. Uh, there is a cameraless version of the F801 that's quite a bit cheaper than the camera version. So if you're not interested in the camera and you want to go with your own camera like like I like to do, then uh, this is a good possible good choice for you. Uh, one other thing that I've done, and I just want to show that, is that I've modified the camera case a bit. I've melted some notches in the side of the uh, battery door uh, to allow the wires to protrude from the batteries. Uh, there's two reasons I've done that, and that's to minimize the potential for fatigue failure of the main plug that goes that soldered onto the circuit board, and also to allow the use of additional batteries like this cheap $3 force power battery that I use in my L6052 and also in my WL Toys quadcopters. Um, you know, it has also it's it's also a 3.7 volt uh, battery, 600 milliamp hour battery. Uh, the, the stock batteries, I guess, is 650 milliamp per hour, but it has that JST plug also. So it's also a good use or good battery that could be used with this quadcopter. Um, its C rating is a little bit lower, uh, but I don't think this thing really draws that much power anyways. Uh, since these batteries can be used with the uh, V222 and V212, there's no reason that I see that I can't use it with uh, the HTF801. So let's plug it in. And let's try to see how this quadcopter performs um, without the weight of that heavy battery or that camera. I bet you it performs a lot better. Let's find out. Binding the quadcopter, going right to high mode. Now let's go for a flight. <laughs> It is a nice flyer. I'll keep my hands up as long as I can. So you can see that. This is flying with a $3 force power battery. So you can use those batteries instead of the stock batteries. This is a fun flyer, actually. <laughs> I think the price is $38 retail for the cameraless version of this. Um, again, GearBest provided this as a uh, courtesy model, and they also let me know when they have coupons. So I'll ask them if they got any coupon codes for this. And include them if they do. But it is a fun flyer. Take that battery off. The same with the SEMA X5C. If you take that battery off, the weight, removing the weight of the battery makes it fly spectacularly well. <laughs> My arms got tired, I'm sorry. There we go again. <laughs> See, that's how you operate the flip. Fun flyer. Try that again.
Can you do that with your quadcopter? I'm showing you how. Watch my hands. Forward pitch. Get some speed. Press that flip button. Just keep that forward pitch on it. Again, this is the cheap little three dollar force power battery in this thing. Ooh, that's a fun flyer. I like that. Do that again. Oh, I'm sorry. Here goes my arm again. <laughs> I'm gonna put a pillow or something under my arm in the or under my elbows in the future so you can see this. Oh, the headless mode. We haven't played with that. There. Wonder what happens in headless mode if you hit the flip button while it's moving. That. <laughs> It is a good quadcopter. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. <laughs> Coming out of headless mode. It's just I'm not sure about that camera. <laughs> I tried it. It keeps turning itself off. Well, we'll see how the pictures came out. I, I did a run earlier just before this to look at the camera, to evaluate the camera. But again, this comes in two versions, camera and camera less. My, are my lights blinking yet? I better bring it overhead and take a look here. No, I'm still going strong with the force power batteries. Well, what do you know? I'm running this hard. Let's see how the cheap force power batteries hold up while running this hard. I'll run it until the battery dies. Wait a minute. There we go. I'm back in high. <laughs> Fun. Fun quadcopter. Similar to the L6052. Without that camera. Keep it close, Keep it close, <laughs> so you can see it. I keep forgetting the, that I'm using my Mobius camera. And that thing has a real wide angle lens, so things look farther than they are. So I gotta really try to keep this in close. How are we hanging up here? How's those lights? Still not blinking, okay. Dang. That's one thing about this. It, I don't understand how they do it, but it seems to be uh, very good flight time with this quadcopter. For using more efficient propellers, more efficient motors, I don't know. With uh, you know, yesterday I got nine minutes flight time with the stock battery, and I was flying it reasonably hard. I'm flying this one very hard, but again, the camera's not on it. Flying it today very hard with flips and. Lots of, uh, lots of funnels. How's the battery hanging up now? There it goes. So that's the flight time you get <laughs> with the $3 force power battery. I didn't check that blinking light in that last pass. I should have, but it's blinking now. <laughs> so, quadcopter, it's still one piece. Nothing broke. 
Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Signing out.